In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make four options 3D triangle geometric slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created these 3D triangles and I have put the options here 1, 2, 3 and 4 with different colors and on the right side you can add the detailed text to it. And I have created one more slide where I have just changed the background color of this. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides and enable the grid lines. And then I'm going to add a triangle where I'm going to make the height as three lines from here. This is first, second, third. You can see here it should go till here. And I'm going to use two uh, columns from left and two columns from the right as the width. So let me just go to insert shapes. Let me select the triangle and i'm going to make the triangle here you can see here bring in the center and make sure that you can see here it is touching the this line let me just make it yes you can see here and then i'm going to make it the width should touch the second line from the right and the second line from the left and then shape outline make it no outline and give some different color in the meantime and then we can change it and make sure that align center also so that it is perfectly in the center i'm going to convert this triangle into a 3d one for that go to insert shapes or i can just simply select this press ctrl d to duplicate and change the color so that we can differentiate i'll make it more darker here and again exactly put it in the center and then i'm just going to reduce the size and make it till the line one can you see here this line only all right and then i'm just going to add two more right triangles here for that go to insert shapes select the right triangle just draw the right triangle you can see here and again give some light color and shape outline make it no outline and then just send this to back you can see here almost it looks like a 3d and this also i'm going to select press ctrl d and rotate i can just simply select flip horizontal and you can give some different color more darker and again align it send this back now you can see here let me just uh, remove the guidelines and the grid lines you can see here we have got the perfect 3D rectangle. Now the real fun begins. Let me just select this and press Ctrl G to group it. And if you want, you can just hold the shift key and reduce the size according to the requirement. And I'm just going to take it to the top here. You can see here, press Ctrl D and just go to the format, rotate and I'll say flip vertical and I'm just going to attach it here. You can see here. Then I'm going to select both of these. Press Ctrl D to duplicate and I'm going to add it here. You can see here. Again press Ctrl D. Again press Ctrl D. So you can see here one line is ready and this also I have to do it. Press Ctrl D and then attach it here. And make sure that this is all fully aligned. Now once this is done, I am going to select this, press Ctrl G to group it, press Ctrl D to duplicate this and I am just going to put it exactly something like this. Maybe I will just put it like this and then I need to add one more here. Let me just align it properly and here you can see here this color I want to give some light color go to format shape and give some light color here so you can see here it looks different now and then i let me just add one more i will just ungroup this and i'm just going to select this press ctrl d not this sorry this one ctrl d and i'm just going to add one more here you can see here and this also I'm just going to select it press ctrl G to group it now I want to add again one more row press ctrl D to duplicate it or rather I'll just select the first line press ctrl D you can see here I can just 
put it here and again this color also I can just make it more lighter here again f4 to so you can see here now I can just select all control G to group it and if I want I can increase the size also here you can see here I want increase or decrease you have to make sure that this is covering the whole slide so if I just so it looks something like this you can see here all 3d now let me just select this uh, move to the left and I want to add one uh, shape here for that let me just go to insert shapes select the rectangle and again I'm going to draw the rectangle from this end maybe covering this much area of the slide and shape outline make it no outline and you can give some any dark colors here you can see here and if you want to keep like this also or if you want to cut it for that go to insert shapes and I'm going to select this right triangle select the right triangle and again rotate it I'll just say flip vertical and make sure that this is fully aligned to the otherwise it will have the some borders there so I'm just going to select this and select this by holding the shift key merge shape and just say subtract you can see here and then I'm just going to move this here so if I just see the slide it looks something like this and now you can add the options here now let me just add some rectangles go to insert shapes select the sorry the triangle and I'm just going to add the triangle say here wherever for example make sure that this is the size or we can adjust the size shape outline make it no outline and give any good color here you can see here and where you want to put it for example if I just put it here and you have to make sure that this is properly aligned and if I play so it comes something out of the slide area so I have to bring this one and I have to add it here you can see here I'm just adding this one here and if I play it looks something like this this is okay and then I want to add press ctrl D change the color to some other color and then rotate it to flip vertical and I want to use it here for example you can see here and then I want to add one more press ctrl D and I want to add it here or let me just add it here and change the color so you can see here I've added three let me just see so it looks something like this only thing is we need to adjust it properly let me just zoom in and adjust it properly you can see here and then you can add the numbers here for that go to insert text box and I will just say 0 1 increase the size center aligned make it bold if you want you can make it white font and just put it here 0 1 press ctrl D this will be 0 2 ctrl D and this is 0 3 so let me just change the numbers 0 3 this is 0 2 and now we can add these options here now let me just uh, make it fit to slide and then I want to add this here press ctrl D reduce the size by holding the shift key whatever the size we need sorry and I'm just going to put it here one you can see here press ctrl D this is 2 and this is 3 here you can add your detail text go to insert text box and make the font wide and add your detail text here press ctrl D 
so you can see here you can add three four for example in this my case i have added four the smaller one here i have made a big rectangle triangles so it's up to you how much you want a big or small That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.